So the old shoulder for K2 used this very heavy bearing and that allowed a smooth pivot, but it kept the pivot very far out from the shoulder joint. So it made the shoulder move up more than rotate. So I got from Spider Hill Prop Works more of these spider joints, which I use for knees, ankles, shoulders, and we need to modify it a little. In order to keep the bicep closer to the pivot joint, we're going to use these one and a quarter slip rings. We could use this full coupler slip ring, but I like how small and easy these fit. And then that'll get bolted to the bicep pipe, and that keeps it very close to the pivot point. The problem is with these spider joints, because of how they're cut, they have this big gap here, so we need to fill this with a 3D printed part. So I've modeled this part in Fusion 360, and the benefit of it is it will keep the slip ring here, and then it actually has a flange, which will keep it from drifting into the coupler. So now that that's printed, you can pop it off the plate and add it to our piece. So you see it's going to go right here and take the slip rings and also provide that flange. So I've modeled these flanges in here to go for an M4 bolt. And after drilling through and securing that there, there's enough bite in the plastic to keep them from coming out. It lines up perfectly with the curve of the piece. So now that is filled with the 3D printed part and these can spin freely. Next we'll make kind of a cap or a ring that can be secured here to keep them together. And this is going to be bolted and end up being K2's bicep. 